Hey guys, Meteor Metal Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. We've got some snow falling up in the Wasatch right now. I'll take you up to Solitude, live cameras up there. We got some light snow, moderate at times coming down. You can see what it looks like. Um, some nice snow there on that camera. Um, I'm expecting potentially five to ten inches. Big and little cottonwood canyons today, less up in Park City, Deer Valley. Let me show you the uh, the radar. So our, our precip is diving down with an area of low pressure and it's coming down through Idaho, Nevada, Utah, and eventually it'll slide through the Tetons and also Colorado and New Mexico. So that's going to be the movement with that area of precipitation down to the south southeast. You can see that blue um, basically running right over the top of the Wasatch right now, headed into the Tetons as we speak. Okay, here are my bullet points this morning. Here's what I'm looking at. So snow, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico today and tomorrow, mainly tomorrow in Colorado, New Mexico. Then we get into a high pressure ridge for the Intermountain West, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, 127 through 131. It's going to be abnormally warm across the West during this time period. In fact, in the Pacific Northwest, the rain snow line will gradually be increasing from 5,000 feet all the way up to 8,000 feet or even higher at times uh, up in parts of Washington State, Oregon, and even BC, it's, it's going to be running very high. And then we're in for that pattern shift. Somewhere in the first week of February, it looks like the subtropical jet will become quite active and move into the west along with a trough of low pressure. There's a little bit of a shift in that today. I'll show you what it looks like. The northeast, you've got rain, snow on 126, and snow on 127, and some snow on 128 and 129. All right, so we'll cover all that in this update. Let me take you back and show you water vapor satellite imagery this morning. All right, the, here's our storm system dropping down through the Intermountain West. Again, that'll take snow down through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico today, tomorrow. And then this big area of low pressure, like I said yesterday, it's just going to sit out here for a while and do a loop-de-loop -loop until it gets released. Um, that's going to become part of that first week of February pattern. Um, very strong subtropical jet out here sort of supporting everything, and eventually that will blow into the West Coast. Uh, but before that happens, a lot of this precip on the leading edge will be directed up into the Pacific Northwest and BC 127 through 131. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. So that's a situation by this afternoon. Snow through the Tetons, Idaho, Wasatch moving into Colorado. Here's 126 in the morning, leftover snows, especially in Colorado and New Mexico. And then by the end of the day, the low starts to move away. Now we enter that, that ridge of high pressure for most of the Intermountain West. With the precip being directed up into the Pacific Northwest and BC, that's going to kick up those rain snow line, those levels, again, all the way up to 8,000 feet, maybe higher at times. So you're really going to have to go high to find quality snow. There it is on 130 by the end of the day. And uh, by then, a larger storm system, that one I was actually pointing out in the Pacific, starts to make its move, and you can see the, that area of heavy precip approaching the west coast by the end of 130. All right, let's talk about snow in the jet pattern. First, let me take you out to the forecast radar on 2-2. So by this time period, the subtropical jet has basically moved in. You've got a trough of low pressure, a couple of different storm systems, so we're looking at more widespread snow. Today, the pattern or the trend has been to shift everything a little further to the south, and you can kind of see that with that emphasis of snow, mainly in Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, not quite as far north. Here's what it looks like on the jet. So this is tomorrow, 126. A storm system moving out of Colorado, New Mexico, that ridge of high pressure moving in to the Intermountain West. Here's the jet on 2-3 much wavier with pockets of low pressure traveling with this thing, much wavier than yesterday. Yesterday was pretty flat west to east. So this will have a transport of um, a couple of different areas of low pressure moving in. And again, the pattern is, the trend has been to kind of bring them in a little further to the south. Okay, and let me zoom out on that same map. Way out, you're looking at basically the entire Pacific here. You can see Alaska to the north, Hawaiian Islands to the south. And you can see the different areas of low pressure that this jet is carrying along with it. Um, not quite as uniform west to east as what I was showing you yesterday. Snowfall by period, so today through tomorrow, again about 5 to 10, big and, big and little cottonwood canyons, less up to the north and Park City, Deer Valley, Snow Basin, 6 in Bryan Head coming. Uh, about 1 to 4 in Colorado, heavier in the southern mountains, especially as you travel towards Cucharo. 
And let's go to the next time period. So 127 through 131, not much at all happening. Very warm in this time period, especially through the Intermountain West, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico. Final time period, 2-1 through 2-3. You can see there's more widespread snow. Utah, especially Colorado, New Mexico, again, with that shift to the south, takes a lot of the snow out of uh, Wyoming, moves it uh, towards southern Colorado and northern New Mexico, southern Utah. So we'll have to see if this holds. If the pattern becomes much more active with, a, with several areas of low pressure, then it will be very important to pinpoint you know, the exact track for these, uh, these storm systems. Whereas if the jet was just uniform west-east, west -east, you would know exactly where everything's going. Okay, so let's talk about the northeast. A little bit of a change here in the forecast. Rain, snow, 126, over to snow now on the 27th. So you'll get some accumulation with that. Then that storm system, 128, 129. The storm track is just a touch further to the north. That pushes a little more snow into Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. You can see that. The result, the numbers have crept up. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the morning mountain weather update here. I always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.